In this video, I'm quickly going to show you my preferred settings for travel videos and vlogs with the GoPro Hero 8 Black and some battery life tips as well. So let's start right away with the vlog settings because they are like in 30 seconds explained. For vlogs, I always film in 30 frames per second, 24 works too. The reason is very simple. If you are talking, you are never going to slow your footage down. So 30 or 24 frames are totally enough. And with a low frame rate, your video files are also going to be less big. And that's an important point if you are traveling. Then I set the resolution to 4K with a linear field of view, hypersmooth set to high, and we already have our basic settings, but we are not quite done yet. There is still some fine tuning called ProTune to do. The ProTune settings are the exact same settings for vlogs and travel video shots. So I'm only going to explain you those once and then we move on to some specific travel video settings. I recommend you to grab your GoPro Hero 8 if you already have it so we can go through the settings together. First of all, set your bitrate to high, like that the image quality gets a little bit better. Then I set the shutter to auto and EUE compensation to minus 0.5, but I only do that because I color correct my footage. If you don't want to do that, then leave it at zero. The white balance I have set to auto as well, because GoPro do a really good job with an automatic white balance. ISO min I have set to 100 and ISO max to 200. However, the company GoPro records their shots with an ISO Max set to 100 as well, but for me this setting doesn't work always perfectly. Because if you are in darker areas, such as forests, your image gets a bit blurry if you move your camera fast, because the shutter is then going to be so long. That's why I prefer ISO Max 200. I also like the sharpness set to high, but if you are a pro color corrector and grader, set it to low. The color profile then really depends on your own taste. I mostly filmed so far with the color profile set to flat, but on the GoPro Hero 8 I really like the GoPro color profile. So I'm probably going to do all my shots with the default color profile on the Hero 8. But if my shots have to be really really cinematic, then I set it to flat so I can color grade the footage. Raw audio I have set to off and wind to auto. So these were the ProTune settings which I really recommend you and now I'm going to show you the best settings for specific travel video shots. I actually have more videos with GoPro travel video tips, so feel free to check them out. And of course I'm going to upload more of them with the Hero 8. So if you don't want to miss them, then just subscribe. So back to the travel shots. If you want to film something where you don't need slow motion, then use the same settings as I have just showed you for vlogs. If you want to slow your footage down, then I have three different settings for you. I use 2.7K 60 frames per second for shots, where I don't know in advance if I want to slow those down or not. So 60 frames per second is a great general setting if you film without any plan, because you can slow your footage down twice or just leave it as it is. I use by the way 2.7K and not 4K with 60 frames per second, because if I choose 4K 60 linear, it automatically changes my frame rate to 30, even though linear should work with 60 frames too, according to the official manual. Then I use 2.7K and 120 frames per second for slow motion shots with people or fast movements in the image. The field of view has to be wide because linear is not supported. But if you need to have the linear field of view with 120 frames per second, then you could just change your resolution to 1080p. Alright, so the last slow motion setting I use a lot is 1080p with 240 frames per second also with a wide field of view. I use those settings for slow motion shots with extremely fast movements or for slow motion shots in the water because it looks just so cool if you slow all those drops down 8 times. I also recommend you to save all your favorite settings as presets, so it only takes you 2 clicks to change them. Now for the ending of this video I'm going to show you some more settings you can make to save a little bit of battery life. Swipe down on your GoPro 8 and deactivate quick capture and voice control if you don't need it and activate by the way the grids if you want. Then go to preferences and click on general and set auto power off to 5 minutes. 
that's a great setting if you leave your GoPro all day in a backpack. So if it automatically turns on, it will turn off again after five minutes. So for the very last setting, you have to click on Regional and turn GPS off. That's it. See you again in two weeks with more GoPro Hero 8 tips and tricks.